I want to I want to be a little bit scientific today and talk about what you need to look for when you're holding mitts for people instead of just flicking up targets not really paying attention to what he's doing just as long as he hits it well that's okay I don't want you to do that I want you to think about how can I help how can I best train this guy because when you're holding the pads for someone the mitts or the tie pads or whatever it is you're supposed to be helping train the guy and you know there's some good boxes <coughs> These are the professional boxers will fly someone from halfway across the country just to hold these for them in you know, a lot of their training. So you want to develop the better mitt feeder you are, the better he can be. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's just talk about some things here. Let's just take a left jab for right now. So if I want to hold here a left jab, he's going to step into this, okay? I want to train here. I want to make sure he's doing everything just right. So when he hits this left jab, I want to watch out primarily for counterattacks, okay? So when he hits, let's just take this first. The most important one he's got to watch out for is when he hits, he's got to bring that hand straight back. All right. So if he doesn't bring that hand straight back, I can help him like that. See? Take the mitt and pop him upside the head. Because if you hit somebody with the jab, boom, he's going to be coming right back, possibly over the top or maybe even straight in. And if you start to jab him like this, you know, you're going to get nailed. So I want him to hit. Yeah, so now he's thinking about it, see? He's going to bring it straight back. Hit. And then every once in a while, I want to give him a little tap to remind him. Yeah, see, so you guys hand up. So see, now I'm educating Harry on where she should be putting that hand. Yeah, see, that's all I'm doing. I'm not cheating. I'm not moving and hitting him. You know, I'm not cheating like that. But I'm just, as soon as I feel this tap, I'm making sure he's got his hand up over there. Okay, so that's the first area. Is this, this is the first line of attack that I want to check is this over here to make sure his jab is getting back. The other thing I want to do, check this line over here. When he jabs, you don't want him chicken winging. You don't want him, if he's jabbing like this and kind of leaving this exposed for a while, he needs to bring his elbow back in. You see, so he jabs here, and I'll tap him in here. You see, he brings his elbow up after his jab. This is not a very common mistake, by the way, but it would be a mistake. There's a line open there. It's unnecessary. Okay. So when he jabs here, yeah, make sure he brings his hand back. And he doesn't really know where I'm, which one I'm going to be checking this time. I might go to the face again. See, should I go to the bottom? See, this is what I'm doing right now. I am making sure that Harry guards those two lines of attack over there with after his jab. Let's go this way for a second. Harry jab. Another very important line off the jab. And we're still sticking with the jab. Still sticking with the jab. He throws the left jab. Very important. This is a very common mistake as guys will drop their rear hand. Drop the hand up. Yes. And this means you're going to get your head plastered by a left hook. See? Even if you hit the even if you connect the jab, you know, I, I, he, he goes to sleep and I get to go home. But even though he hit me first with the, with the jab, he, if he drops his hand, he's going to get nailed. So when he jabs, left jab here, that's it. Now we're watching. He's going to watch this line over here. And as a good coach, I can help him with this. So when he jabs, yeah, make sure he does it. Uh, jab. Make sure he's got his hand up over there. And just like, just like before, although not as important, is the body over here. It could be the case that, you know, maybe you got a guy that likes to slip to the inside and hit the body. Start right here, here. Okay, so we're right here. So he goes left jab. I make sure his face is covered. Left jab. Make sure his body is covered. All that first one is by far the most important. Just because this is, it's very common for guys to jab like this. Especially when they get tired, they start dropping that rear hand, boom, you're going to get open yourself up for a left hook. So putting it all together off the jab now. He throws left jab, he's got to guard his head over here. Left jab, he's got to guard his head over here. His body over there. Left jab, guard the face. Left jab, guard the body. Okay, now the drill, see, that's, that's the idea, that's the theory. The drill is to simply do it all. So we start here, he goes left jab. He doesn't know which one I come back with. I might not come back with any, you know. It's not like we've got this prearranged agreement where I have to come back with something. I just, I just need him to be thinking about everything. Left jab. You know, see? He's a little jumpy. He's got to be... So now he's, 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 he's thinking more. He's not just, you know, what am I going to do after training? I'm going to go to the restaurant. No. He's got to be thinking all the time. And he's a little more involved. And you're the holder. Are not so, you're not so passive anymore either. You're not just... Mm -hmm. No, I'm helping. And I, I know what to look for now. See, so we're going along. If I see a problem with Harry, I know I know at least four, you know, one, two, three, four. I know at least four problems to look for 
And that makes me a better pad holder, which makes him a better fighter. I hope that makes sense. So we go left jab, here, left jab, we're mixing it up now. I might not throw anything. This is very simple in terms of his attack, but he's got a few things to, th to, to think about. And of course, we don't want the technique going to hit the power and all that stuff to go to crap on his jab either. So he's still got to give me a good stiff jab. My Thai boxing instructor was killer about this. He would always hit me with this one. Always. So this is where, where some of this comes from. Okay. So I'm going. I'm taking the left jab, and I'm and I'm making him think. I might go like this. I might double it up. I mean, why not? You know what I mean? An opponent might. Left jab. I don't do anything. See, Harry's not so comfortable anymore because he's got to think about a lot of stuff, but that's what feels, it's, it's closer to sparring now. Left jab. Go uh, two rounds and then two rounds. So a three minute round, a three minute round, then switch the pads. And then we... All right, same drill here, Cody. Cody squared up. I want you to keep this mitt on both mitts, really. Get in the habit of that, but keep this mitt. We're working on the jab right now, so the right mitt. Keep it against your chest. That's Cody's cue to not do anything. And I'll give him this jab here when I want him to throw it. And we just covered all these lines. So we told this jab, we just covered all this outside stuff. Okay, and I, and I like to teach that way in the beginning just because it just seems easy to fill the jab and just sort of stay shelled up a little bit. But we want to teach progressively. So let's add in now this front line stuff. So when I, when he goes left jab here, obviously another way the guy can counter is straight on. He doesn't have to come, he doesn't have to come around the side or high or low. He could just come straight back. So if Cody hits a jab here, the guy might come straight at his nose, and I want him just to slap it away with the rear hand. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to see that that is going to make your uh, this drill a little bit harder because uh, you got to think about you got to you got to bring your arms in sometimes, and then bring them out to the side. So where everything else is going to be the same. He's going to take this jab. Maybe I'll hit him back. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll hit him back twice. Okay, and then maybe. Right in the middle. Okay, so left jab, out of the way. Left jab, out of the way, and be ready. Yeah, because I can come back twice. See, but he's got to think about now more than just those side these these side lines. We're a little bit easier, I think, to defend against. He's got to think about straight on. Left jab, straight on. Okay, with the jab, he's going to slap away. So if I, he goes left jab, slaps my jab away with this hand. That's fine. But what if? What if he pops him with the jab, you know, boom, and then just come straight back with the right hand? So you got to worry about that one too. So left jab, comes straight in. Okay, right off the hip. So here, and he can slap it away. Or he can just rock back if he wants to. Just like that. If he's too slow on his rock back, he should just slap it away. Just like that. You have to go use the other hand. Okay. Yep, just like that. Okay, so back it up. <clears throat> left jab, we stick all the side stuff. Up. Left jab, up. Left jab, over here, which is a very common area. You want to make sure you train this one a lot. Because everybody likes to drop that right hand on, on the jab. Okay. I'm going to head over here to it once in a while, although it's not as important. And then the straight line. So it's the left jab or the right hand. Yes. And you mix it up just like before, but adding in those two lines, the left and the right, makes it a lot harder. Okay, so let's go two rounds and two rounds. Let's talk about the right hand now. Similar concerns, but, but the emphasis changed. So when I give Harry a right hand, come over here, Harry. I give Harry a right hand, a couple things he needs to watch out for. Number one is especially on the left hook. Uh, the body is obviously a target. He's got to get that elbow back. And don't cheat on him. Don't just. You know, do that. I mean, it's, you know, obviously, that's got to happen. But just give him a chance to hit. I mean, he needs to be used to bringing the arm back right away. Okay. Not just, not just bringing the elbow back. Stop here, Harry. 
not just bringing the elbow back, but you also got to bring the fist back. Yes. You got to watch. You got to get that right hand back. That's important. It also give you more power on your punch because it'll, it'll have more snap. So right hand, you got to get it back. Right out, real quick. Make come out. There we go. Again, keep going. All right. You can also break the rhythm up. So watch this. This happens too. He goes to right. Pause for a second. The guys will drop their hand, and you can hit him. Okay. But he he can't do that. So we're gonna. I can come back anytime. Okay. okay. Right hand. But the primary thing he's working right now is the left hook. Okay. Because guys guys will throw a right hand, go slow and then bring their hand down on the on the recoil, and boom, there it is. Okay. So again, I'm training Harry. I'm trying to make him better. Trying to make him look out for these openings, and these are the main two I'm concerned about. I am concerned about throwing a big looping right hand, especially coming back at him over here. And so this is something I need to get him to think about. Okay, so this is what I'm working on right now. Left took the body. Left took the head. Right hand. Okay. Okay, we're going to work on this mint drill, guys, where I want you to work your jabs. What I'm going to do. I call this the jab sled. You know, like a bobsled in football, those sleds that football players hit and they drive the coach back? We do that with the jab. So we'll start back a little bit. I'm going to hold the mitt like this. Put one here, one here so it's solid. It's not flopping around. Solid, solid like this. What I want Mario to do, he steps in and bangs with the jab. <coughs> start over. He, start, he steps in and bangs with the jab. That's the left hand, Mario. Left jab. Now I want him to put his weight on it. So when he steps in, I want him to lean forward and drive that jab in. Drive it. Yeah, keep your elbow down. Don't let this elbow pop out. No, don't chicken wing it. What he's going to do, I'm standing flat footed. He's going to hit me. Hopefully make me take a step back. If he doesn't make me take a step back, he didn't put enough weight into it. So here. Yeah. Again. He's just jabbing me back. Just around the room. I'm kind of, you know, moving around at random here. He has to really bend that front leg. Put your jab here. Hold it. He has to really bend that front leg to get his weight into this punch, see? I've got it backed up right here. So just stand flat footed like this, and we'll go uh, we'll go one round like this, one round of singles, then another round of doubles where he pumps twice. All right, again. Pump twice. Yeah, pump twice. That's it, pump twice. So round one we'll do single. Round two, we'll do double. Just like that. Try to make the guy step back. That's what we call the jab stuff. Okay. All right. Let's get going here. Okay, we're going to build off that theme. So what we're going to do here is he's going to jab twice. Pop up. And then I'm going to do one or two things. After he jabs twice, I might flick a jab at him. If I flick a jab at his face, I want him to slip it. So I'm going to take this bit and I'm going to aim for his forehead. He's going to move to the side and it should go right over his shoulder. Ooh. Yeah. You can put the other hand in there as a slap for safety if you want to, but you don't have to. It's going to flick at his head. He's going to move it over. So, and then I want you to come back with a jab. All right. So it's jab, jab, slip it, jab. That's it. And again, go back. Jab, jab, slip it, jab. Okay. That's one. Again, jab, jab, slip it, jab. Just like that. The other option I can do, and we'll probably let's just do a round of each so we don't get confused. So we go jab, jab. The thing is, when the guy's jabbing your face, it's a great time to kick him in the leg if you're kickboxing or fighting or something. It's a great time to kick him in the leg. So if you're a jabber, if you're the type of guy that wants to step in and bust somebody's head with a jab, you've got to get used to picking that leg out. So we're going to go one round of the first one again. Jab, jab, slip the jab, fire your own, okay? But you're going to get ready also to prepare yourself against the kicker. So you go jab, jab. Bring your foot up, jab. See, that's what we want to get used to as well. So we go jab, jab. I'm going to take the bottom of my foot and slap him on the thigh. Put your thigh down for a second. Slap him with my foot like this. Okay. So you don't bang your shin. We don't need shin guards right now. Just slap it like that. He's going to pick his leg up to block. So you jab, jab, block it, jab. And then we move around. All right, jab, jab, block it, jab. Uh -huh. Move around, jab, jab, block it, jab, and jab, jab, block it. All right, again, sloppy, jab, jab, block it, 
jab, just like that. Okay. So first round, jab, jab, slip the jab, jab. Second round, jab, jab, block it, jab. All right. All right. Let's go. 